This is the solution to written homework 9. So we're told to factor this polynomial. Okay. Well, because this is not a monic polynomial, it has a leading coefficient of 5, uh, we'll use the method where what we want to do is we want to find factors. Uh, so first off, 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. So we want to find a factorization of negative 30 where the sum of these factors will give the middle coefficient, 13. Okay, so how about negative 1 and 30? That's a factorization. The sum of negative 1 and 30 is 29. Okay, that's not what we were looking for. Uh, how about negative 2 and 15? The sum of negative 2 and 15 is 13. Ah, that's what we were looking for. But if we hadn't found it, then we could keep trying others. Okay, like the sum of negative 3 and 10, that's 7. That's not what we're looking for. Okay, so then we found 13. We're so happy about having found 13. So what we'll do is we'll take this, using that information now, we'll take this polynomial and write 5x squared and then minus 2x and then plus 15x and then minus 6. So the purpose of this uh, consideration was to take this 13 and split it like this. Split it in that way. Because now we're going to take these and form groups. So 5x squared minus 2x is now a group. And then plus 15x minus 6, and that's a group. And within each group, we're going to factor out the greatest common factor. So that would be x for this one. So x multiplied by 5x minus 2. And then plus. The greatest common factor in here is 3. So 3 multiplied by, well, 5x minus 2. Notice that 5x minus 2 is now common. So that means that we can factor out 5x minus 2 and we should be able to fill in this. Okay, and the terms that go in here are x and 3. So x plus 3 and 5x minus 2. So for this one, we could use a similar technique, but this one is even easier because it can be written as the difference of squares. So 49x squared well, that's 7x squared. And then 144, that's 12 squared. So this is now the difference of squares, which means that it can be expressed as the product of conjugates. So 7x plus 12 multiplied by 7x minus 12. And that's the answer.